Hey guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. We're actually in the Chainsaw Hospital right now helping out Dr. Cutter. He asked if I could give him a hand um, getting these, these old light fixtures changed over to some new bright LED retrofits with the ballast delete. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take out the ballasts and wire this fixture up for uh, 120 volts on each end of the tombstones. And, uh, and then we've got some new LED lighting coming in. So we'll get Dr. Cutter some lighting in here so he can do some operations. He's got some work to do and we, uh, you know, he's got some really important work to do. And he asked me if I could do these uh, because he didn't want to hurt his, uh, his little soft surgical hands. So, anyways, here we go. I told him I'd help him out. So check out his channel. Um, he's doing some really cool stuff with an XL101, and uh, he's gonna have a ton more home lights to work on. And uh, he's he's telling me all about this stuff he's got going on. So support him. He's uh, he's just starting out this channel. So um, uh, yeah. So so subscribe. He would love that. And so let's get started. We're gonna start tearing these lights apart and uh, getting them ready for the LED bulbs to go in. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take out these old light bulbs. These look like they were some uh, T8s, F32 T8s or something like that. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to see if we can get them to work. Looks like I might need to start out here. There we go. Don't want to break the tombstones because I need those for the new the new bulbs. All right, I got that out. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these out, and we'll get this uh, belly pan off. All right, got all those bulbs out of the way, and I'm just going to investigate, make sure these tombstones are okay. Everything looks okay with these, so we're just going to squeeze this uh, this right here, and see this little tab pops out. So we got that one. Now we got to get this one right here. Alright, so we got these uh, little squeezy parts loosened up, so now we can go ahead and remove this belly pan. Put that to the side, and you can see these ballasts. Man, that thing got hot. Hot, hot. Uh, so, yeah, the way the, uh, the new light fixture, or the way the new light bulbs work, is uh, they actually have a... Um, it, they're end fed, so one side is going to be neutral and one side is going to be hot, uh, either or. So the way I like to do it, you see in these light fixtures, we've got two yellows and those are those are going to be my neutrals. I'll just make those and I've got two reds and two blues. So what I'm going to do is, um, is wire up the reds and the blues to hot and then the yellows to neutrals. So let's go ahead and cut these out of here and uh, get that going. I cut the wires as close to the ballast as possible because um, we don't really need the ballast wiring anymore, ever. So I'm just going to cut those off like that. And you got two neutrals over here. In fact, we're going to go ahead and cut the black, the whites, and the neutral, the yellow wires. Go ahead and cut those too. Cut these guys off, and then over here on this one, we've got two more reds and two more blues. So there those are. Now these are 11 30 seconds head um, nuts on here. So I've got just a little um, quarter inch driver handle and a quarter and a uh, 11 30 seconds socket. Doesn't need to be deep well or anything. Just get that out of there and if you got a nut driver you know an actual legitimate Klein or Craftsman nut driver that'll work too so there's one ballast out of the way and I like to go ahead and thread these nuts back onto the studs that are hanging out and there's the second ballast out of the way okay great perfect so now we've got the reds, the blues, the reds, the blues, the yellows, and some white and black wires that came from the ballast. And this one happened to have these little push-in 
um, quick connect so you can get these out you just pull and twist at the same time and the wire will pop out so you can reuse these um, like that and we might yeah we'll end up reusing these in fact we can leave one white wire in there we'll probably end up yeah we'll use that one and then looks like uh, one black wire we should be okay too because that'll give us that'll give us power all the way to that so yeah we're good perfect all right so we'll start off with the yellows and what we'll do is we'll strip those back okay got my wire strippers here we're just gonna pop these I think they're about 18 gauge or something like that we don't need a whole lot um, off of there so there's that so I'm just gonna go around and strip off the insulation on all of the yellow wires all right we've got all of our yellow wires stripped back and uh, we're gonna put them all together with a, a white wire that this one I already took out of that other connector so it was stripped back already and we're gonna get a wire nut I've got this style right here that'll work really anything will will do what you need it to do so great perfect uh, well I'm saying is you can use little blocks like this wire nuts or or whatever now the way I like to twist my wires up is I'll I'll pull them all like this and then I'll use this part that has the the wire nut on it to wrap that up there so now it's, you know, it'll hold itself up. All right. <clears throat> Next up, we're going to go ahead and do these uh, red and blue wires. These will all get, um, get fed to hot or whatever gets switched on and off. So we'll just go through and I'm going to strip all these back, the reds and the blues. Um, I'm only going back maybe three-eighths of an inch or so so that's perfect that's what we need we don't want to do too much and have it hanging out of the back of the wire nut all right I've got the uh, all the red and blues stripped back and I've got a couple of, um, of black wires here that we're going to use as jumpers so we saved from the old ballast wiring we're just going to put a black wire underneath of all the reds and blues. And that's good. Put a wire nut on there. Now we've got that coming over here to these other reds and blues. And connecting. So that's just going to jumper the two together. So what we're doing here is we're just lining everything up so that they're all under the wire nut all at the same time. This is like six wires here but um, you can do it. You just have to take your time, take a minute, make sure they all kind of line up just like that. Grab you another wire nut and go for it. Perfect. So now we have a white wire coming out. That's going to get hooked up to the power and then a black wire coming out and that's going to get hooked up to power so what I'll do sometimes I'll twist these together because these are you know going to be leaving together and I'll kind of hang them outside of the light fixture right here where the the plate goes on the connector plate the rest of these wires here I'm going to twist up the same way I did the other ones remember we're using our wire nut in looping everything together and then twisting around each other just like that now we've got this one here same thing get it ready and then twist so we're ready to put the belly pan on because if you think about it we can wire up the light fixture from this this hole right here on the back side with the connector and everything so we're gonna go ahead and put the belly pan on and we'll be ready for light bulbs trick to putting these in you put one end in all the way 
uh, you know, as far as you can get it, and then the other side will just barely clear, and that's that's how you get them in. So you just squeeze this again and put that right in there. All right, we got a second light fixture to do. This one still had the diffuser on there, this prismatic diffuser. So we'll go ahead and get that out of the way. You pull these up at about a 45 from the face, and then this this cover will come right off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one just like we did the last one and um, get those new bulbs in there. All right, got our wired up light fixture here, got our LED light bulbs. And uh, so we're gonna put these in one at a time, kind of put one edge in. You gotta kind of tuck it in there as far as it'll go and then rotate this one over, this side over. So we wanna make sure when we put these in that we actually Put them in and then rotate the LED part out, this clear lens. And I'm going to put a link down below in the description uh, with some, some links to these products here that I'm using today. So if you do have any questions on what's going in these light fixtures, uh, we, can, uh, we can definitely help you out. And if you do have a comment or question about... Uh, anything that I've got going on here do uh, do leave a comment below all right we've got all the the bulbs installed and uh, what I've got is uh, an extension cord with the end of it cut off the uh, the female part and I just wired that into the black and the white going to the wiring that we did underneath the here so let's go ahead and plug it in and try it out I've got an inverter back here so if you hear the fan running it's the inverter so let's turn that on and here we go. I'm going to plug it in. All right. Nice. I know it might not show up too well on camera, uh, but they are actually pretty bright. So uh, let's go ahead and mount these in the ceiling and, um, and see if we can get some light in here on this operating table for Dr. Cutter. All right, I got the uh, got the lights installed up here. They look pretty good. I went ahead and wired them up. All I did was just daisy chain them together, black to black, white to white, and hook the grounds to the chassis. Uh, and then I, I've got them hooked up over here to the inverter. So let's go ahead and turn them on and see what happens. Nice. Okay, yeah, they all turned on. That means they're all connected. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Uh, just like that, we got some lights in here. That's a huge step forward for the Chainsaw Hospital and uh, Dr. Cutter and what he's trying to do on his channel. So yeah, check him out there again. And uh, let's turn these lights on and see what it looks like. Wow, there you go. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.